Here we're going to tie a Sawyer style pheasant tail. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get our thread started here. And just lay down a base of thread. The next thing to do is to tie in the tails. And for that we're just going to use a piece of pheasant tail. And we're going to pluck out oh, about five or six of these fibers. Try to keep those tail fibers as even as possible. And you want the tail to be about half the length of the shank of the hook. So I just measured those out. I'm going to tie those in. I want those tails to be right on top of the fly. Now we're going to take our thread forward. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want everything to be an even thickness on the body. I don't want any lumps. I don't want any bumps or anything like that. Now the next thing to do is to tie in some copper wire. We're going to tie this in right on the side of the hook. Just get it going here. We're going to take that copper wire all the way down the side, all the way back to the tail. And once I get there, I'm going to take more pieces of pheasant tail fibers, again five or six of those. Now I'm just going to trim off the, the tips so I have a nice, clean, even spot to tie in with. I'm just going to tie those in right at the back of the hook. Now I'm going to take my thread forward and I'm going to stop oh, about two-thirds of the way. Now I'm just going to take these pheasant tail fibers and I'm going to taper them forward. just like so. I'm going to tie those off. Now I'm going to take these fibers I'm going to tie them forward. And I'm going to lift them back up over themselves. Wrap right back. These are going to be the, the casing. Now I'm ready to take that copper wire and I'm going to counter wrap it forward, which means I just wrap the opposite way that I wrapped the pheasant tail fibers. Now, once I get to the thorax, I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to wrap the wire right up against each other. And then once I get to the eye, I'm going to capture that thread or that wire with the thread. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. Then I can spin that wire, helicopter it out of there. Now I'm going to take that casing. I'm just going to pull the fibers right over the top, just like so. Trim out the excess. Then I can whip finish. That's all there is to a Sawyer style pheasant tail. Very slim, very subtle. The wire adds a little bit of weight to it. That's the Sawyer style pheasant tail.